Hi guys, um, this is my square here and before we make our bubble I just wanted to explain to you in my tutorial I have you uh, pulling out the string to avoid fraying. I really do mean just actually taking this string and pulling it out. Um, that leaves an edge, it doesn't need to be this much of an edge. Uh, just a little bit of an edge that will help keep it from fraying, especially while you're working with it and folding it around. So that seemed to have helped me a lot. Um, maybe you are welcome to skip that step if you think you've got the hang of things and it's not bu bugging you. But I just was playing it safe. Um, and basically, let's jump straight into making our bubble. So. You want to go ahead, hold it like a diamond, and fold her in half. You really do not want to crease the tops like so, you because when you make um, your bubble this way, it won't be very round or bubbly. It will be creased like this, and it'll be really thin, and that just doesn't make sense for a fluffy bubble burlap wreath. <laughs> so you just want tip to tip on the bottom here. Hold it down here, and you're going to take this edge, this corner up here, and um, you're going to actually hold it like this. You're, instead of folding it and creasing it while you fold, you're going to hold it like this, pull it over, and match it up with the bottom tip, and you should have that. It should match up right here. Um, <clears throat> this is exactly what we want. You want to see a little bit of a tunnel in here and a loop right here, or a mountain, a hill, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Now, on this other side, you're going to do the same exact thing. You're going to grab this without creasing it like this. Just grab the inside of this, this corner, and you're actually going to do the opposite, pull it backwards instead of frontwards. So go ahead and meet the back tip again. Same situation. There you go tip to tip all the way around. So now here's the fun part. You actually have your finished product but you can play with it until you get the perfect um, roundness or pointiness that you want. It's your wreath. You could do it however you want it to look. So for me I just tapped it on the edge or on the top until I got the width and the body that I wanted. You can play with it, you know squish things around, figure out exactly what you want, okay? Now, this is looks good to me. It's perfect. And basically, I'm going to go ahead and pin it and put it in my, my foam wreath now. Basically, it's okay to pin it about an inch, hopefully I'm doing that right here, an inch from the tip up. It doesn't need to be too high because then it will affect the body of your bubble, but it doesn't need to be too low because then it will easily fray out and basically just lose its grip. So you want it to have a pretty good distance from the bottom, but not too high. So about an inch is about um, the rule of thumb that I played. And then go ahead and, and poke it on into your foam wreath and there you go. That's your first bubble. And you'll end up with your finished product. I think that my bubbles turned out great. I really love it considering it is my first time making a bubble wreath. Um, I'm definitely not done making these. I'm going to make plenty more uh, for gifts and can't wait. Can't wait to hang it up for the season. And I hope that this video tutorial really helped you out and understanding how to make your own bubbles. Good luck and have a great time. Bye.